Hey, what's going on, y'all? My name is Dakota. Thanks for watching Tennessee Ray. Today, we are out here at the Southern Precision Tooling Range checking out the Primary Arms Classic Series Mini Red Dot. Now, this is a fairly new option. They released this option as well as the Micro at the same time. So, the Mini is for an RMR footprint. The Micro is for a uh, 507K a uh, shield RMSC type footprint. It's it's a smaller optic than what this one is. So this one's an RMR footprint. It's meant for full size handguns. Let's go ahead and get into it and I'll tell you what I think. Huge thanks to Primary Arms for sending this out for the video. Go check them out, link in the description. All right, so we've got the Primary Arms Classic Series Mini Reflex Sight. Let's go ahead and start opening it up. This is an RMR footprint miniature red dot with a 3 MOA dot. There is your manual. Make sure you read that. It comes with a lens cloth and some Vibratite. So we're going to use that today. Go ahead and get that opened up. <clears throat> Out of the box you have a optic cover. It's a little rubber optic cover. A lot of optics come with that nowadays. And it comes mounted to a Picatinny mount out of the box. So like I said, it's a 3MOA dot. I'm going to see if I can find the dot here in the camera. Probably not going to be able to. Anyways, we'll find that later. That'll be part of the video later. Uh, I don't know if you can see right now, but it's snowing just a little bit in East Tennessee right now. Um, you've got an extra set of screws here, mounting screws, and then the Allen wrenches for both the screws and for the adjustment here on the top and on the side for elevation and windage. So we're going to go ahead. I've got my handy Glock 17 here that's got a little custom work done to it. And it's, it's cut for an RMR footprint. So we're going to go ahead and mount this bad boy to it. And one important thing about mounting a optic to a pistol Make sure that you put witness marks. It's a little too cold right now. It's about 25 degrees outside right now. Um, make sure you put witness marks on these screws. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'll, I'll explain that a little bit. So if you put a line from the screw, let me see if I can get this camera to focus here. Okay, so put a line on the screw and off into the body. That way you've, you've got a straight line of reference where the screw, to, so you know if the screw moves. Do that on both screws and then these might be a little difficult to do for the elevation and windage adjustment because they're an Allen key that's kind of recessed. But if you have that option, it's always good to do that as well with your elevation and windage adjustment. Alright guys, uh, let's go ahead and wrap things up on this Primary Arms Classic Mini Reflex. Uh, as I've said a couple times, this is a RMR footprint optic. Um, full transparency, I think I might have already said this as well, but Primary Arms did send this to me for the review. But that doesn't change anything. I am a Primary Arms affiliate. 
but I'm always going to be honest. I'm always going to be up front. Uh, guys, I have, I have nothing to hide here. Uh, I'm doing this because A, I enjoy it, and B, because I want to put good information out for people to have. So let's go ahead and get into the actual talking portion of this. Guys, I don't really want to be too hard on this thing because it's less than 150 beans. Uh, seriously, it's hard, it's hard to be harsh on an optic that you know up front what you're paying, uh, what you're paying for, because you can't expect a $150 optic to perform or to have the same features or upgrades as a $300 or a $500 optic, right? So you can't expect this primary arms mini reflex to have the same features or the same quality feel as like a Trigicon RMR. It's just not going to be the same. Uh, but what I will say is for $150, this is a pretty dang good optic. Uh, would I trust my life to it? Probably not. Uh, and that's just me being upfront and honest. This is for me more of a, uh, a range optic, maybe throw it on a, a 22 or throw it on something that you just enjoy planking with. I would not trust this for a self-defense optic. Um, I don't know. It may be a super tough optic. Uh, I haven't beat it up a whole lot to really tell you. I've shot it a lot. Uh, I've shot it a few thousand rounds uh, between the different firearms that I've tested it on and the amount of time that I've actually had this thing. I've had this thing a little longer uh, than I probably should have before I put out this review. But let's go ahead and roll into the features. So it's an RMR footprint and it has a 3MOA dot. Uh, 3MOA dot's right in that range where you want to be. It's a little bigger than a 2MOA dot. Uh, really between that 2 and that 6 range is about the perfect size. Anything bigger than that's just honestly too big for, for a red dot and then like a 1MOA dot sometimes is just a little too small to, to really pick up quick. So out of the box this thing comes with a uh, Picatinny mount as well. It's a low Picatinny mount so you can mount it on a whole plethora of options like a, I think it'd be awesome on a 1022 or maybe even a shotgun. I haven't tested it on a shotgun but that's probably coming soon. So let's go ahead and talk about the pros. Uh, the pros, this thing has a pretty clear lens. Uh, there's not a lot of tint. It has a little bit of a bluish tint, but it's really not bad. Uh, honestly, the tint is way better than some other optics. The brightness settings are daylight bright, which some companies cannot say about their optics, especially in the under $200 price range. I've not noticed any issues with the refresh rate or flickering or anything like that, especially when transitioning between targets. There is a very, very small amount of distortion in this glass, but it's not super noticeable unless you're really looking for it. Now we'll talk about the cons. So the number one con that I probably have with this optic is the open bottom battery compartment, just like the RMRs. Uh, and that's kind of why I keep comparing it to the RMR is because they did a lot of things similar to the RMR. Uh, the second con that I'm going to go into is the adjustments. Now the adjustments for elevation and windage take an Allen key. They're, they don't take like the back of a 9mm case or, or a flathead screwdriver or anything like that. You have to have an Allen key that I can, I can actually get in there and turn the adjustments. On top of that, the adjustments are not um, tactile. There is no click. There's no, there's no feel of, okay, hey, I moved it a little bit. I moved it. No, you have to just watch and see how much you're turning the Allen key to know how much you turned it. Kind of guess. Yeah, that feels about right. And then check your, uh, check your shot, check your impacts and see if that was right or not. And then continue adjusting until you get it right. Uh, the next con that I'll say, which is not really a con anymore because they fixed it since uh, they rolled the first generation of these out. So there is a little, there is a little piece right here, right where my finger is, 
It's a little shiny black piece. And what that is, is that's actually a screw that goes in, kind of holds some of the, the internal components in place. Um, as I was shooting it, it would back itself out. So I got done with the first range day and I looked down at my pistol and that screw had backed itself out, which is part of the reason that this review took so long is uh, I contacted Primary Arms, asked them about that uh, issue, and we kind of went back and forth for several months before we really nailed down um, that I was good to go ahead and put this video out. I didn't need to send this one back and get the current generation. They just had me put Loctite uh, on that screw and thread it back in with my finger. And I will say I've taken it to the range a few times since then and it has not backed back out since I put it in the last time. So I did mention that it is a daylight bright dot. However, it is barely daylight bright. Uh, on the brightest setting, it is not as bright as I would like it to be in the daylight. Now that's, that's kind of a, a finicky point there. It's not really a big deal. Um, if, if I can see the dot, then I can shoot it. It's just not uh, as bright as maybe I would like it to be or I would prefer it to be. And that's just me kind of nitpicking. Uh, all in all though, this is a pretty good dot for $150. Like I said, if you want to put it on a planker, if you want to put it on a range toy or something like that, um, or if you just want to have something cheap that you can beat up and train with and not worry about uh, tearing up your other red dots, then this would be a good one to, to work with. Uh, guys, hit the link down in the description below. I'm going to have this thing linked down there. It'll take you directly to the webpage. Uh, like I said, I am a Primary Arms affiliate, so if you click on that link and buy anything, you don't have to buy this, but if you buy anything from Primary Arms, uh, after you click on my link, then I will get a kickback. It'll help the channel out. It'll help me keep making content for the future. Um, anyways, like I said, uh, it's a pretty good dot. If you're interested in picking it up, I would check it out to put on a range toy. My name's Dakota. I appreciate you guys watching. Make yourself better today. God bless.